New here at 9, a bombshell tonight in the investigation into Alderman Jim Gardner. The Alderman from the Northwest Side stands accused tonight of using derogatory language against women and retaliating against critics. WGN's Dana Revick now live on the Northwest Side with brand new information. Dana? Well, tonight, sources are telling the Chicago Tribune that the FBI has now launched an investigation into Alderman Gardner and whether he used retaliation for political purposes. Tonight, residents here in the 45th Ward held a rally and protest outside his office demanding that he resign. Constituents in the 45th Ward calling on Alderman Jim Gardner to step down tonight. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Gardner is got to go. What he is doing is using the power we have given him as an elected official to carry out personal vendettas, and that's not okay, and we're not going to let him do it. This all centers around accusations that the freshman alderman has abused his power in office since elected in 2019. Leaked text messages from a former staffer allegedly show Gardner using misogynistic, derogatory, and homophobic language against colleagues and constituents, as well as withholding city services from those who criticize him. A resident who protested Gardner's decision to turn down the Six Corners development project in Portage Park in 2019 says he was retaliated against. By the very next Monday, in response to that protest, Gardner had already pulled court records on me and directed his staff to disseminate those documents to his supporters in an effort to damage my reputation. There are vocal critics of him online who've had bricks thrown through their windows. This member of the United Northwest Side group that organized tonight's rally, who didn't want his name used in fear of retaliation, says that's not all. There was a, um, a member of our organization who um, was kind of a highly publicized event where one of his supporters drove a car through his lawn and, uh, and then totaled in another nearby car. That incident caught on this ring doorbell video back in June. Gardner also allegedly directed staff to run background checks to try to dig up dirt on a list of constituents, business owners, developers, and a woman who had a restraining order against him in 2017. A consistent pattern of using uh, de de what I would say is misogynistic language about women, unacceptable. Totally, utterly unacceptable. What do we want? Resignation. What do we want? Now. Everyone deserves to be valued by a sensible alderman. Two dozen Chicago aldermen also signed on to a letter denouncing Alderman Gardner's alleged behavior. The Cook County Democratic Party is also looking into all of this. Live in Jefferson Park, Dana Rebick, WGN News.